Do you have any quick tips when people are under high duress that they can break the patterns of negative communication? Yes, actually I do. The first one is ask yourself, when you sit down to your, with your partner, how do I want to be in this discussion? Not what's the problem, what's the content, but what kind of person do I want to be when I'm talking to you? Do I want to be thoughtful? Do I want to be loving? Do I want to be smart? Do I? And, and even take out an index card and write down for yourself, here are the traits, here's how I aspire to be when I'm talking to you about this topic. I, want, I might want to be assertive, I might want to be curious, I might want to be open, non-defensive, I want to be a better listener, I want to be a better self-advocate, and keep looking at those cards to, to remind myself exactly while I'm talking to you, here's how I want to be in this discussion. If both of you do that and you talk about a topic, you will break some really negative patterns in a hurry by doing that. Do you have any other tips? Uh, one of my best tips is to say to myself, be curious instead of furious. You know, if I'm mad at you, and sometimes I am mad at you, I say to myself, okay, I don't quite understand why he's acting this way, so I better ask him some darn good questions so I can figure out what the heck is going on here. See, being curious actually is a form of being very loving to your partner so that you can begin to understand the causes underneath the causes and what does this problem symbolize. And that's when you really start to get to the heart of the problem. You can even think of yourself as being like a good journalist, a journalist who's, you know, got to write that article and so I got to figure out what's behind this and figure out the kinds of questions that are not about me, where I'm not taking what you're saying personally, but in fact I'm trying to find out indeed what is it about you that you're so riled up? Now, there's two other things that you can do if you really are dedicated to breaking some patterns. If you start a bad interaction, a, a negative fight, you catch yourself right in the middle of an argument or heading down that slope really fast, if you say to your partner, honey, wait a minute, what am I doing right now that's not very effective? That question alone will start to break a negative pattern. And a second thing that will break the negative pattern is if you're saying something to me and I can start out by saying I agree with, instead of what I disagree with about what you're saying, if I come back and I say to you, here's what I agree with and what you're talking it about. It builds a bridge so that we can at least know there's some commonality instead of exaggerating the differences. And the other quick tip is if you can say to your partner, honey, right now what could I do that would be more effective than what I've been doing? And your partner will go, oh my God, ah, I love you just for asking the question. It's wonderful. Thank you, honey.